Hi, this is Drew with DIY Green Energy, and tonight I'm bringing you an update. My truck, finally getting the engine out of here. And unfortunately, uh, I didn't take into account something. Uh, I forgot to raise uh, the screw up here on up to its maximum before I actually started lifting my engine out since I got a come along on there. Uh, so. What I'm doing is I'm turning this pile of metal here, I'm already starting to work on, into a uh, engine cradle that's going to sit right in here, right across these support members. Sorry for the shaking or fast movement. Uh, but yeah, going from across there to across there, down and across. So I can pick the engine up, move the truck back a little bit, and cradle the engine on there where it'll sit upright. And uh, I can adjust or make the adjustments on my jack over here so I can actually pull it up and over my grill instead of having to take my grill completely off. And for doing little DIY projects like this, um, this little Harbor Freight 90 amp welder that I did a review on on my channel um, is honestly an excellent choice for what its price is. Uh, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna do some more uh, welding and do another video and paste them all together that way you can see this thing uh, come to shape all right we'll be back okay and we got the first side completed uh, you can see simple Some fairly decent welds. I just got to continue on with side two, which is going to be yeah, exactly the same thing that you see here. And then I'm going to be joining them together. One of these pieces of angle iron in this sort of a fashion. And then I got another piece of angle iron that's going to go across the top here. Okay, and be back.
back when the two sides are joined together. Just look at the screen and not at what I'm actually doing. <laughs> it's just a flash. All you see is just white. <laughs> well, that sounds about right considering I am welding. <laughs> We'll be back again. Okay. Now I got the two halves welded together. Nice and sturdy.
none of these bolts are going to break. Then my next step is to take angle iron and weld it going across here like such. One on either side. And then I'm gonna screw a piece of 2x4 in here on both sides that way there's something soft for the engine to set on. And uh, my engine cradle will be uh, complete and then tomorrow when I get home from work I'll be able to pull my engine up. And I'll be back to show you the final product. Okay, now I'm making the final weld. And after that, I'll show you the uh, the end product. Those. Those were the final welds. You still see it glowing. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, and this is the end result. I'm just going to be placing 2x4s in here. Uh, this piece here, I got to drill a couple holes in so I can screw, uh, screw them in place. And that'll provide some cushion for the engine sitting on there. Something a little softer than the metal. Yeah. I may or may not uh, weld a Remember going across here on either side. That one I'm not sure of yet, but uh, yeah, just wanted to make a quick video of this. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe for more videos like this, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you around again. Have a great night.